Hello you guys and happy Sunday. I think this is the first time that I talk in this podcast. In this podcast, very good, in this video. So hello, um, I'm in my studio. Uh, I know it's a weird thing for me to be on my studio on a Sunday, but today is my live drawing session with my patrons, which usually happens I mean, it happens now fairly regularly, but this is the one in which we all talk and catch up. I love Zoom for that situation because I can see everybody's faces and what everybody's working on. So it's a nice, nice opportunity to put faces into people's names. I'm hoping that made sense. Anyway, today <laughs> we're going to practice light and shade, which was something my Patreon suggested for today. And it worked out pretty beautifully because last month we practiced, uh, for like last month's um, live drawing day, we practiced background and scenery. And so I'm gonna use last month's sketches for us to practice light and shade today, which is so nice that we can like seize and make good use of all of the things that we're working on. And so right now I'm going to start prepping the cameras and everybody that goes around the live stream and maybe we can, we can catch up after the live stream about life and stuff. So yeah, give me an hour and a half and I'm going to see you later. So what you're witnessing right now is me trying to put together a blanket. I I started um, doing. I, I think I started crocheting this blanket um, early this year, and it's been really fun because I've been doing it with no rush. So every time I'm like watching TV or like talking to a friend or catching up with someone, I will do these like tiny squares. And now I'm finally up to the point where the weather is starting to change again and the leaves are falling and 
we're suddenly facing the beginning of fall, which is always very exciting. And um, it happens that I am about to finish another blanket. So the timing is just perfect. It's so lovely. Uh, I hope my glasses, the glare is not really annoying. I truly enjoy wearing glasses. Um, but the issue of doing YouTube and filming myself is that every once in a while, when I'm in front of a, a freaking window, glare happens. And I know it's very annoying to watch a video when you can see the glare on someone else's glasses because it's hard to tell their expression. Uh, so I apologize, but I do love wearing glasses. Um, don't you find annoying that thing that happened I'm, I'm hoping it's not happening anymore but like back in the early early 2000s there was this trope that when people in like tv shows or reality shows or like series they went like some of the main characters went through like a makeover um they will take the glasses off and they were like yeah this person used to be so ugly and now we took the glasses off and suddenly it's so beautiful. And I'm like, you know, you can be pretty and wear glasses at the same time, right? Um, <laughs> I, always, I always found that trope so insulting because I love wearing glasses. And the idea that you can only be attractive without wearing glasses, I'm so offended. Like, you can totally be pretty and wear glasses at the same time. Like, just look at me. <laughs> God, <laughs> Anyway, I don't know why I thought about that, but it was I'm I'm hoping I'm not the only one who took uh took mental note of that trope, that very uh annoying trope. How are you doing, guys? How was your September? My September was was good. It was exhausting. Um first of all, I I really wanted to thank you for your comments on the last video. S somehow the analogy that I use for uh, social media and fast fashion resonated with you. I thought that was really cool because I thought it was interesting, but I, you never know when like people are going to find it interesting as well. But anyway, thank you for saying that. And thank you also for your comments around Cereal. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I lost my cat um, a month and a half or so ago, and it's still insanely painful. I can't help but still feel conditioned that I shouldn't feel this sad of a pet passing, but I do. And so instead of being really judgy of me feeling shame around it, I'm just allowing myself to feel sad and understanding and accepting that Serial wasn't just a cat and it's totally okay to feel sad about it. Um, my September was weird you guys because after coming back from uh the social media break uh it's been like putting out fires like crazy like problem solving one after the other it's been a really chaotic month for me it's been chaotic because i'm opening my online store on <laughs> i say that in a really weird way i am opening my online store again uh, for uh, like Christmas season, and that has been really chaotic because uh, just trying to figure out how to ship back to Europe, and um, it's been chaotic running an online store. And I, this is one of the things that I wanted to share with you because it's been a major change that I am going through right now as an artist and as a business owner. I'm going through a transition, you guys, in a way that I truly didn't see coming, but I'm so happy that it's here. And it's that running my online store has changed so much since I started having an online store. So I, I started my online store back in 2014. I was in Germany at the time. And because of life things and the world changing and a pandemic happening and then inflation happening, it's becoming more and more challenging to keep a business afloat uh, in the sense that shipping has become trickier and more expensive. 
buying packing supplies has become trickier and more expensive. And so I really wanted to ask you, uh, actually, if you are, if you have an online store, how you're doing, because it's, it's been certainly a massive change for me since I started. And I just want to ask you if you have an online store, if you have witnessed any changes happening as well. And also in the, in the emotional side of running an online store, I finding myself not enjoying it as much as I used to, which I think it's natural every once in a while when you have been running a business for so long. I have, I, I love the process of designing a new product or drawing in my ugly sketchbook. I love it, but everything that comes afterwards has become very challenging because of the thing that I just said earlier, like the shipping and the admin side of the online store. And at the same time, and this is the beauty of it, I, I, I just found myself enjoying the process of drawing the graphic novel so much. And I think this is why my business is transitioning right now, because I found myself wanting to spend more time writing and illustrating comics and graphic novels than running an online store. And I love the way it's been happening. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. It's, it's really scary because I have, I have, I guess, run my business in this way since I started almost uh, with illustration. And now that I'm transitioning, I, I can't help but feeling like I'm in, like jumping into this unknown. And that's why I'm so grateful for you guys, uh, for you watching this video and for you, if you can support my work on Patreon, because it's an, it's an unknown and very uncertain time for me. I, I used to be able to rely a lot on my income on my online store, but now that most of the year my store is closed because I'm only opening opening it a few times in a year uh, so I can focus on being an author and working on my graphic novels. I can't rely on that income anymore. And I feel so incredibly vulnerable talking to you about this and because it's so scary. And the fact that I have no idea if this is going to work out or not makes me feel really emotional because I'm really scared. And <laughs> thank you for holding my hand throughout this process because it's, um, when you're a freelancer and you can't rely on anyone else on your income, it's a pretty scary thing, you guys. And also it's scary when you don't have a partner because I love being single, I love living by myself, and I love my own company a lot. <laughs> um, but it's scary not being able to rely on anyone, on anyone saying like, don't worry, I'm going to pay the bills this month, or like, don't worry, I'm going to pay rent this month. Just like, you can focus on your, on your shit, I got it. And I don't have anyone saying I got it. I think the only one <laughs> are my patrons. My patrons are the ones saying, I got it, don't worry. And so I really wanted to thank you, patrons, for helping me in this weird transition in which I am I'm allowed to close the store for most of the year, but during Christmas season. Uh, this is why the store is now open. But most of the year now, I've been able to write a new graphic novel, get an agent, which by the way, it's so stressful because I found out a couple of months ago, thanks to my beloved illustrator friends that I meet every month or so. And they were like, Fran, it's, it's, it's pretty challenging to get a deal unless you have an agent in the US. And so the process of getting an agent has taken me more time than I thought it was going to take. 
and writing a proposal for applying for an agency in terms of like the book that I want to propose and all of that has um, been also really challenging. This That's another whole video, by the way. But I, all of this being on a waiting room, so to speak, like waiting for this um, graphic novel part of my journey in this art practice journey to start. Um, it's been quite anxiety inducing because it's a lot of uncertainty. And when you're faced with uncertainty and being a freelancer and your business changing and transitioning from one side to the other, it's a, it's a pretty nerve wracking thing. And so that's what I'm going through right now, you guys. It's been, it's been pretty weird. At the same time, I've done this before. I've done the transitioning thing um, in terms of business in the past. And so I'm just trying to channel past Fran, who already did it once, but now doing it just, just me, just by myself. And so, uh, thank you so much. That's, that's all what I'm trying to say in this <laughs> last bit of the video is thank you for holding my hand and for watching this video and supporting my work. If you can support my work on Patreon, I know it's a weird economy right now and you're, please don't feel pressure to do it. You're already watching this video and that's already more than enough. Um, but I couldn't end the video without letting you know how much this means to me right now because of what I just mentioned. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Please let me know how you are doing and how September was for you. Uh, and especially when I hear your thoughts, if you have an online store, because it's been a crazy year for most of us small business owners. And I really want to check in with you and see how you're holding up and how you're how are you managing this whole craziness um yeah you guys thank you so much to all of you for being here and for keeping me company throughout this week or so and uh we're gonna see each other very soon okay thank you bye <laughs>